Welcome to the Corex Double Roman Composite Tile Installation Video Series. In part one of this three-part series, we discuss preparing our roof deck for installation. Here in part two, our roof is prepped and we're ready to install some tiles. If you're used to working with traditional clay or concrete tile, you're going to love working with our composite tile. It's extremely easy to cut using any carbide or diamond blade bit, no pre-drilling required, and no wet saws. On the back side of all of our tiles, you're going to find a channel that accepts our pressure-fitted lower metal closure. Simply put it in place, press it in with the color side facing out. If you find that this is loose in any way, you can always use HDPE compatible adhesive to hold it a little bit better. Before you start cutting and installing your field tile, you need to determine what type of finish you want on your gable or rake ends. Option one, go with a capped finish. Option two, using a European box finish. If you've chosen to go with the more traditional Spanish style and using a capped finish, we still have some planning to do. We don't want to just jump in and start laying out our field tile and then turn around and find out that we can't actually get a nice fit and finish at the end of this job and have to start all over again. So we want to take some time and do some planning. What we've had to do on this particular job, which might vary from break and different pitches, but for us, we've needed to cut a tile here to maintain this to ride on the high side of the tile while still staying nice and flush on the fascia. So what we've had to do is cut three inches off of one of our field tiles and then also go with a two inch nailer instead of anything higher. Now again, this might vary from job to job. Now once we do that, what you're gonna find is a nice clean result where it's gonna sit nice and flush to the fascia as well as sitting nice and flush against the tile. Now to start onto the second row, we wanna make sure we're staggering joints. So we had to cut one more tile so we can finish that off. Then once these interlock with each other, and we still have that high side right nice and perfect, keeping our end finish cap tile nice and clean. On this part of the display, we're gonna be showcasing you option two, our European box rake finish. Some of the prep work you're gonna to do before this is make sure that you have your nailer in place so it will cover your tile cuts to give you a nice clean finish, as well as pre-wrap it with your flashing using either pre-bent metal flashing or our Corex flashing to make sure you get a nice watertight seal down this valley. Starting with our normal install, working from right to left, you would start with a full tile piece. But because on this application we're working left to right, we want to make sure we're removing this interlocking joint to give you that nice clean finish. So here we've done that on this tile right here, but we have not cut our lower metal closure so it gives you a nice clean look on the outside. And now it sits nice and flush against your nailer. For your second row, you'd simply cut a tile in half and place it up top to give you that nice staggered finish. Now that we've determined how we're gonna start our tiles, let's finish installing each row working from right to left. Fastening it with two fasteners per tile without over tightening. Complete each row as far as you can with a full tile. Then working your way from the ease all the way up to the ridge, making sure to stagger your joints. To achieve your cuts for your hips and valleys, simply measure out 23 and a half inches from the center at top and bottom to create your parallel line. Snap your chalk line and then cut. Those pieces will now slide over to your hips and valleys and then simply backfill with two full tiles. Now that we've successfully installed all of our field tile, we can move on to the finishing details, such as our hip, ridge, and rake tiles. This will be covered in part three. To learn more, visit Corex.com.